Bulginaka, do you know that cybercrime is becoming a growing problem in Fiji? Cybercrime is defined as a crime in which a computer is the object of the crime, such as hacking and spam. Cybercrime is also cyberbullying and using fake profiles to cause panic and spread false news. If you're involved in this or know anyone who's committing these crimes, report them immediately. I'm Polly. And I'm Peter. We host the Traffic Jam Show on City FM. From 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. every weekday. Do, do the, the right, right thing. Fiji. In this bulletin, Fiji has four cases of COVID-19. Non-essential travel must stop. And shop owners await container clearance. From the studios of FBC Suba, Edwin Nair. Fiji now has four confirmed cases of COVID-19. The latest case unrelated to the first patient is a 28-year-old Fijian man from Suva who is believed to have picked up the virus in Australia, having arrived in Fiji from Sydney on Saturday, the 22nd, 21st rather, of March. Prime Minister Voringen Banimarama says patient 4 was a model case having adhered to self-isolation on his return in addition to calling the health hotline once he began to experience coronavirus symptoms on Sunday. Maggie Boyle reports. In less than 24 hours, Fiji's COVID-19 tally has increased. We confirmed a fourth case of COVID-19 in Fiji. This patient is not related to our first three cases. Baini Marama highlighting that in this instance, it's the best case scenario with the man vigilant and aware of the deadly virus. He went from the airport straight to his flat in Suva, where he immediately self-quarantined that uh, Sunday night while he was still uh, self-quarantined, he developed mild symptoms, a sore throat and then a cough. The process thereafter, the Prime Minister says, ran like clockwork, a testament to the readiness of the health teams on the ground. After the test was confirmed, an ambulance uh, transported the patient securely and hygienically to our Central Division Isolation Ward at Navo Hospital. Separate ambulances then transported all members of his household to the Navua Hospital Isolation Ward. Given the low risk of transmission, Bainu Marama says no containment of the Greater Suva area is required. However, all non-essential travel is now prohibited. That means no Fijian should travel from their home unless absolutely necessary. And they certainly should not be traveling around the country, across divisions or to different islands. Children should stay at home at all times. The elderly should stay at home at all times. Breadwinners who can go to work should go home straight after. Meanwhile, 26 of the passengers who were on the Fiji Airways flight FJ916 from Sydney to Nandi on Saturday have been advised to self-quarantine for the next 14 days. Maggie Boyle, FBC News. All non-essential travel needs to stop immediately, says Prime Minister Voreng Mbani Morama, adding that Fiji and the world are at war with the deadly coronavirus. With four confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Fiji now, the government is asking Fijians to refrain from traveling unless there, there is an absolute necessity. Mbani Morama also adds the young and the, in, and the elderly should stay at home at all times. Breadwinners who can go to work should go home straight after. For everyone else, every move you make should be for your own health or the health of others. You can go out uh, to get food, get medicine, take out money or access another essential service. It's also okay to exercise safely outdoors so as long as you maintain a safe distance from others. But do not visit friends or family unless absolutely necessary. Do not host parties. Do not uh, needlessly linger and do not mingle with strangers. The Ministry of Health has conducted over 170 tests for COVID-19 since the establishment of the Fiji Center for Disease Control in Suva. Head of Health Protection Dr. Alicia Saukhan says 33 tests were conducted on Monday at the Fiji CDC, of which 32 returned negative and one positive. Dr. Saukhan says having a local testing facility has allowed the Ministry of Health to effectively detect COVID-19 cases. She says apart from testing, the action of the 28-year-old through self-isolation helped prevent any possible transmission of COVID-19. When he arrived in Nandi Airport, he was advised by our health staff that 
we are now saying that any traveler into Fiji must quarantine, must self-quarantine for 14 days after arrival. He did this. He went straight home. He stayed at home. Once he started developing symptoms, he isolated himself from the rest of his family within his own home. Another fever clinic will soon open in the Greater Suva area as the Ministry of Health ups the ante in the fight against COVID-19. The ministry says fever clinics are an important part of the response to the virus as they enable Fijians to seek treatment without going to a hospital. Minister Dr. Ifire Miwangai Nambete says it's important to set up these clinics to help all Fijians who are affected. The whole reason of the fever clinic, as to say again, is for anybody having flu and fever because it's also the flu season to present themselves to the fever clinic so that we can demarcate if uh, that patient or that person has a likelihood of a normal flu at this time or whether that person has a possibility of having COVID-19. The driver who transported the University of Vice Chancellor Sushila Chang from within the confined areas of Lotoka has been charged. The Vice Chancellor allegedly violated the Lotoka confined area and caught a flight to Sydney, Australia on Monday. Police Commissioner Brigadier General Siti Veningilio says they are also investigating the taxi company owner whose vehicle was used. He says the owner would have been aware of the drive around the island to get Chang to the airport. We're looking into other people uh, that worked with him in getting the vice chancellor out. We are not resting. We will continue to go after the people who have been irresponsible and selfish in not adhering to the advices uh, that have been divulged by the Honorable Prime Minister and our Ministry of Health. Spreading false information during crisis situations will not be taken lightly, the warn, uh, has warned uh, the Suva Magistrates Court. The court's comment came during a ruling to refuse the bail of a 41-year-old man who is charged for allegedly spreading fake news. Pranita Prakash reports. Bani Kawale, the bodyguard of Sudelpa Lida City Beni Rambuka, appeared in court yesterday afternoon. He was taken in custody over the weekend for allegedly posting fake news about COVID-19 on Facebook. The accused from Makoi Nasinu is charged with one count of malicious act. It is alleged that between the 20th and 21st March, Kawale used Facebook to publish and broadcast false news about positive cases of coronavirus at the CWM hospital in Suvap. The defense informed the court that Kawale is looking after his elderly parents and has been in custody for more than 48 hours. They also stated that this has breached his rights. The prosecution objected to the bail, saying the case is of national interest as his post had caused fear and panic among Fijians. The prosecution also said that if granted bail, he may interfere with the witnesses. The matter has been adjourned to April 7th. Pranita Prakash, FBC News. The Fijian Competition and Consumer Commission is working with the Biosecurity Authority of Fiji to fast-track the clearance of containers at the wharf. Some of these containers have essential food items and the demand for these products have increased in recent days. The FCCC is reminding Fijians that food imports have not been affected due to COVID-19 restrictions and there should be no fear about food shortages. Chief Executive Joel Abraham says work is underway to prioritize the clearance of containers with, with essential food items. As biosecurity to ensure that we expedite the clearance of some of these containers simply because people are buying things at a much faster pace than they usually would. Residents of Lotoka who have been under restricted movement for the past five days are resorting to other activities to pass time during self-isolation at home. Some who spoke to FBC News say the city is mostly empty and people are only going out for essential needs. These pictures coming out of Lotoka clearly show there is less movement of people which has resulted in slowdown of business. I'm just cleaning the house, actually just for hygiene purposes. Just doing laundry and uh, we couldn't get out of the house as much as we could, like before. I mean, the talk is just calmed down. Yesterday when I went to town, like most of the shops are closed. Eh? Even when I went to the bank, it's like only 20 people are in the bank, including the tellers. The town is not so busy at the moment. Uh, only a few, uh, few people are walking around in town. But most of the shops are closed and few supermarkets still open. Yeah, and the uh, chemist too. 
Overseas, India is to impose a nationwide lockdown in an attempt to slow the spread of the coronavirus. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has announced the restrictions will be enforced for 21 days. India, which has a population of 1.3 billion, has 519 confirmed cases of coronavirus and 10 reported deaths. Coming up, Team Fiji awaits IOC's advice. Welcome back. The cancellation of the qualifying events for the 2020 Olympic Games due to COVID-19 will affect many local athletes. Archery, which was supposed to host the Oceania Archery Championship from the 6th to the 9th of next month in Suva, has not formally cancelled the event. Team Fiji Chef to Mission Patrick Bauer says the International Olympic Committee has given assurance that qualifying, qualifying rounds will commence once the COVID-19 pandemic dies down. The IOC has mentioned that they're trying their best to ensure that the qualifications are taken care of. The travel to and from qualification countries are also looked into and careful guidance given to countries and particular needs that need to be catered for are catered for. In Raul news coming to hand early this morning, the Tokyo 2020 Olympic and Paralympic Games have in fact been postponed until next year because of the worldwide coronavirus pandemic. The event, due to begin on 24th July, will now take place no later than summer 2021. In a joint statement, the organizers of Tokyo 2020 and the IOC say the unprecedented and unpredictable spread of coronavirus has seen the situation in the rest of the world deteriorating. Fiji short put champion Mustafa Fall is calling on Athletics Fiji to consider his record-breaking performance as they've yet to make a final decision on the universality place for the Olympics, even if it were to be held in 2021. Fall recently set a new national record and National Junior College Athletic Association indoor national short put record for the United States with a throw of 18.35 meters at the Coffeyville Community College School. Fall broke his previous record set during the NJCAA last month of 17.64 meters. I believe that I deserve that lone spot to the Olympics, but, you know, it's all based on facts and um, world rankings. Uh, Fall, along with Mbanuve Tambakodoro and Eugene Volma, are in the running for the one universality spot that's been given by the IOC to promote sports development and provide equal opportunities to smaller nations. Fiji football sensation Roy Krishna, after returning from a successful season with his ATK football club in India, has described the experience as a memorable one. We played our first game. Uh, the atmosphere was amazing. The fans were so loud. And even in the second leg, uh, semi-final when he played at home, it was more than 50,000 people. And you now, as a player, you want to be part of this uh, uh, experience. And I was just blessed to be part of it. Football's global governing body, FIFA, has joined the World Health Organization in the fight against the coronavirus pandemic. FIFA President Gianni Infantino joined WHO Director General Tedros Ghebreyesus to launch the Pass the Message to Kick Out Coronavirus video campaign. 28 players, including Argentina forward, forward Lionel Messi, Italian goalkeeper Gianluigi Buffon and Brazil, Brazilian keeper Alison Becker have backed the initiative aimed at reinforcing five WHO guidelines in stemming the spread of the virus. FIFA have pledged 10 million US dollars to support the COVID-19 solidarity fund for the WHO. Football is ready to play its part on that and we are here for that. And I'm sure of one thing that uh, like in football, by acting together with um, determination, discipline, and teamwork, we will win.
thunderstorms and showers are likely over most places. That's your FBC Morning News. Join us again at 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. for our major bulletin. Remember, in times of crisis, you need factual news that you can trust. Stop believing fake news about the COVID-19 on social media. Fight misinformation by getting only the facts about the coronavirus from verified news sources like FBC's TV, radio and digital media networks. www.fbcnews.com.fj Keeping Fijians connected with the truth. हमारे खूबसूरत देश फीजी में चाइल्ड अब्यूज की घटनाएं आए दिन बढ़ रही है क्यों बच्चों का मासूम बचपन अब्यूज का शिकार हो जाता है अपने बच्चों की सुरक्षा का खास ख्याल रखें उनसे बातचीत करें उनके दोस्तों के बारे में जानें आज के बच्चे देश का भविष्य है मैं दीप्ति और मैं मोनिश आपके हम सफर शामिल हो जाए हमारे साथ मंडे टू फ्राइडे फाइव फोर्टी फाइव तक रेडियो फीजी टू देश की धड़कन आरोप